Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the America Sports Connection. I'm your host, the one and only Joey Railroads. I'm here at the Berlin Farmer's Market in Berlin, New Jersey, hanging out with the boss man himself of, of uh, H2O Wrestling, the bulldozer, Mr. Matt Tremont. Matt, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. We're both waking up. It's early, but uh, we are here and here to talk about H2O. Absolutely. You uh, got a big show coming up. It will be... Uh, December the 8th, we have the 305 Live, I think you're calling it 305 Live, Haas Tournament. Uh, quick question before we get into the matches. How did you come up with the, the idea of doing uh, a big man tournament? It was uh, a, a committee. Usually, you know, most of the brainchilds myself, but uh, I'll have to give credit to Jeff Cannonball, who originally came up with the idea, along with uh, with my wife of probably months and months ago, she mentioned something, and then Cannonball mentioned something, so I kind of put both ideas together, and now we have the 305 horse tournament this Friday, and 16 of the best in the area will try to become the number one horse in the game. That sounds very interesting. Uh, I'm, me, myself, I'm actually looking forward to it. So let's run them down real quick. You actually have uh, where it's four first round fatal four ways, uh, if I'm correct. Uh, we'll go we'll go through them one by one. Uh, in the first one, we have Ace Romero, Bull James, uh, Joe Gacy, and Maria Manic. Yeah, one of the four, probably one of, you know, Bull James, former NXT guy. Uh, Ace Romero has been, you know, making a name for himself in the last year or so. Uh, Joe Gacy, last minute uh, change as Ricky Shane Page had to pull out of the tournament. And I uh, hope Ricky nothing but the best. And uh, Maria Manic, who we've been building up at H2O for the last few shows. And uh, back at Blood Money, she eliminated and killed Jimmy Lyon in less than a minute. And then she put herself in the horse tournament. So. I think she definitely uh, brings a different uh, intangible to the show and to the tournament, and I think she's going to uh, handle herself quite well, and that should be a, a very interesting match of the, fir of the first four rounds. I agree, especially considering how much Maria Manic has, I, I guess you would say, evolved in the last six to 12 months. Uh, it'll be fun to see her with you know those those really big guys in there because you you've seen her like you said she's killed Jimmy Lyon at the last show and kind of mauled bigger guys so it'll be really interesting to see her with you know guys that are even bigger like Gacy and Ace Romero. Yeah, she has been uh, you know a little backstory behind her. Probably about six months ago, she started coming to my training classes uh, when I would run my. Uh, student, when I would train my students at the dojo in Blackwood, I would usually uh, try to pick a day during the week, usually wind up being Sundays, and I would train my student Sean and others, and she wound up starting to come to my uh, training sessions, and she wound up, you know, doing really good and learning a lot, kind of took her under the H2O wing and my wing, and I, you know, she's got all the intangibles uh, and talent to, you know, separate herself from the rest of the women in the business just because of her physique and her talent, and I look at her as the next, you know, she has all the potential in the world to be the next Beth Phoenix or China, and that's how, you know, we're pushing her in H2O, she, you know, pretty much, you know, like you said, squashing all the guys and, be, and being very competitive in the ring with the guys because uh, she's their size. She's bigger than some guys, and, yeah, she can go. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, she's going to fare very well, I think, in the tournament next weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next we have, in the next four-way, is Kyle the Beast, Steve Monstamac, TJ Marconi, and a mystery person. Yeah, uh, originally was going to be, I forget, who was the the original guy in that four-way? Mac. Um, Mac. No, the, his partner. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Moff. Um, Dan Moff. Yes, yeah, so he, unfortunately he couldn't go, so I'm like, alright, well, we'll keep it a mystery, so there's a little mystery going into the show. Uh, the mystery guy, he's, he's a big dude, and he's making his H2O debut, so it's, uh, you know, he's never been in the company before. Uh, Kyle the Beast. Marconi and Monster Mac, you know, three guys that know each other very well and have a lot of history with each other. Um, and then you, you throw in that in, that that curveball with the mystery man, uh, you know. So that's definitely going to be another interesting match on the card. And uh, you know, I'm pulling for Monster Mac in that one. He's the veteran out of all the four of those guys. So that should be should be a fun battle of big men match. 
Absolutely, I agree. Next uh, four-way, we have Stockade, Nate Carter, and Dave McCall, and the other boss man, DJ Hyde. Yeah, this one. I think. Uh, I think out of all the matches, I think this one is the one. Uh, not only the fans, but the boys are looking forward to the most. Uh, you have the intangible of the tag teams of you know the dub boys the rep nate carter and dave mccall you know they're not going to be tagging you know so now they gotta you know fight each other because only one man can win so you're going to see a tag team going at it stockade and the deeds have a lot of history with one another and uh yeah sh should be good uh you know DJ's the boss of, of those guys, so they're going to be wanting to take out the boss and you know show what show what they got in singles action. And I think it'll be uh, very interesting once uh, Nate and Dave have to collide one on one in that match. I agree with you, and I was going to say to me it kind of reminds me of the battle of uh, the chops because uh, D we all know DJ can can throw a nasty one, but uh, N Nate Carter doesn't have a bad one either. No, not at all. I, I definitely see a lot of chops in that match. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, all right, and the last first round match we have is Brute Van Slyke, Bill Carr, Greg Excellent, and Rex Lawless. Yeah, I think on paper, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. I'm a big fan of all four guys. Uh, Rex is coming back off an injury. I think I believe this will be his first match back uh, from the leg injury he sustained months and months ago. Uh, Bill Carr, known for usually his tag team work uh, with Dan Barry, a part of Team Tremendous. But, you know, the, the big guy can go. And uh, definitely I think he's one of the favorites overall to, to win the tournament. Greg Excellent, a seasoned veteran, you know, looking to you know step out of the – combat zone and debut for h2o and see what he has and brute van Syke, he's uh, you know the beast from the northeast you know definitely no slouch in the ring and definitely you know a uh, top competitor in the tournament that's going to be uh, looking to win it all all right now after the first round we'll have four guys remaining and correct me if i'm wrong it's uh, a fatal four-way final but it's elimination not just one one fall Yes, all, all four of the first round matches are one fall, four winners advance, one from each of those matches. So those four winners from the first round advance to a four-way uh, elimination match in the final. So there's five tournament matches overall. Okay, I wanted to make sure about that. Uh, now, in actually non-tournament action, we have a couple matches as well. We have the H2O hybrid champion Blackwater is defending his title against the number one contender who was decided at your last show, Mike Dell. Yeah, it was M Mike Dell, Kid Osborne, and Tolpa. Tolpa had the victory in hand until uh, the debuting Dante Caballero uh, made his debut and took out Tolpa because I guess you know they've got a history with one another. And uh, Dante made his H2O debut and, and stole the victory pretty much from Tolpa. And Mike Dell, the opportunistic man he is, uh, stole the pin and, and, and got the win. And now he's the number one contender to take on Blackwater. Blackwater's been the hybrid champion since August. He's been in a year long battle uh, with Jimmy Lloyd but uh, that's you know seems to be put aside at the moment and now they're going to collide for the hybrid belt and I think it's going to be you know definitely a different match aside from the tournament matches and should be a good one yeah I'm, I'm excited to see that and last but certainly not least is the H2O world heavyweight champion Jeff Cannonball making his I was going to say his first title defense, but it, it's his first title defense on an H2O show against uh, the big scared Dan O'Hare in a doorway to death match. Yeah, Can Cannonball uh, beat Shane Douglas for the title of Blood Money back on October 20th. And then about the f I think the following weekend or the weekend after that, uh, had his first title defense uh, at Rockstar Pro Wrestling in Dayton, Ohio in a fatal four-way match against Clayton, Clayton Jackson and two others. And he was uh, able to retain the title that night and Big Scare's been on a roll as far as H2O goes he pinned Danny Havoc in Danny Havoc's last H2O match and then at Blood Money uh, you know decisively defeated uh, Brandon Kirk so you know definitely made him you know the number one contender and he called out Cannonball Cannonball uh, shot back with a, a Facebook live video accepting that challenge and uh, both men want to get violent and dirty so you got the the five horse matches the hybrid title match and then the, the heavyweight title with two horses themselves are going to give you the violence for the evening and the doorway to death match and I would say there will probably be about four doors 
and each door will have you know one door could be barbed wire one door could be gusset plates who knows uh, but I know I know Big Scare wants to get violent and and prove to the world that he's just as hardcore as uh, as Jeff Cannonball and Jeff Cannonball is looking to go in there and retain the title so that nah, should be an awesome heavyweight title match absolutely now if people want to get tickets or uh, information, how can they do that? Uh, front row tickets are all sold out, thankfully, and I appreciate that all for everybody that supports H2O. Uh, $20 general admission tickets will be on sale at the door. Uh, if you're looking to get tickets in advance, uh, you can stop by good old Bulldozers Collectibles at the Berlin Farmer's Market. And purchase your tickets at the store. We are open every day now through Christmas Eve. Uh, and you can also purchase and reserve advanced tickets online uh, by messaging me on Facebook at Matt Tremont and or emailing Tremont2k11 at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, check out h2owrestling.com. And it sh should be a great night in uh, all this show. We'll have some uh, f a few announcements. We'll announce the final two matches for the Christmas show, a Christmas classic, just a few weeks later on December 22nd. So it's a busy month for H2O and looking forward to both shows. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before we get out of here, don't forget to check us out on Facebook.com slash American Sports Connection or on Twitter at AM Sports Con, C O N pod pod i just want to thank you matt for taking the time out of your day to hop on and talk about the show i appreciate the platform as always to uh promote h2o and i, I look forward to seeing everybody next friday at the old time wrestling arena slash kevin hogan memorial hall for the 305 horse all right that's it everyone don't forget to like comment subscribe share hit a thumbs up all that good stuff we'll see you back next time have a good day everybody